Hello students, in this video we are going to solve the exercise of lesson number 4 that is climatic regions for 11th standard science as well as art students. So let us start with first question. Write the names of climatic regions according to the factors that dominate their characteristic. Now this question is given in your book and you have total 5 columns like longitudinal location, wind and wind systems along with proximity to the sea as well as continental location and altitude. Okay, so these are the things which you have along with the uh, question. You just have to write the latitudinal location. Okay, so only three columns are given. You can uh, take any specific area like India or you can take any other specific area. You just have to tell that exact lat uh, latitudinal location where it lies on the globe and you just have to tell which type of winds can you see in that particular place how is the proximity to the sea which sea is near to that place like suppose Shimla then Indian Ocean okay then which continent location now India lies in Asia continent okay so it's a part of Asian continent so Asia will be the continental location and what is the altitude means what is the height of that particular uh, location okay so that, like that you have to write it the second example is given related to Egypt, Cairo. So here we have seasonal type of winds. The proximity to the sea means the Mediterranean Sea is close. Then we have it is in the Africa continent and the latitudinal uh, altitudinal extension is 23 meters. Okay. So this is just an activity part. Let us move further with question number 2. Choose the correct alternative. Okay, you have to choose the correct alternative out of the alternatives given to you. The first question is a monsoon region. You just have to tell the characteristic of monsoon region. Amongst all these options, the option B, that is average temperature in summer is around 35 degrees Celsius. Then it is less than 2500 mm annual rainfall is observed here then southeast asia receives the monsoon region as well as hardwood deciduous trees are found in the monsoon region so this is all about the characteristics so option b is the right answer next is the region with high diurnal range of temperature now diurnal range matlab kya ek hi din mein आपको दो तरीके के temperatures दिखाई देते हैं, like it's hot and it's cold. Okay, there is extreme hot, extreme cold. Okay, such type of diurnal range of temperature is found in desert. Desert in the desert you have very hot climate in uh, temperature in full daytime and at night it's cooler. Next, question number three. Lumbering flourished as an occupation from the new formed land to Alaska in North America because of what? Now, lumbering agar aata hai, to taiga hi likhna hai. Why? Because taiga is a place where the coniferous forest is found more. Okay. And lumbering is basically done on such type of trees which are very soft, which can be easily cut down. Okay. So, uh, and it is most probably seen in taiga. Large amount of uh, people are engaged in the lumbering type of occupation. Next. The main reason behind the months of precipitation in the graphs of monsoon climatic region being different is. Now, uh, we all know that the monsoon uh, climate, a uh, climatic region is basically created because of ITCZ. Now, what is ITCZ? It is nothing but it is the conversion of the winds which move from the low pressure belt okay, in the equatorial region. Now, the full form of ITCZ is what? Intertropical Converger Zone. Now, this is how that both the winds, that is northeast as well as southeast, these, both the winds, they trade towards each other and they converge. Converge means finally they meet to each other. So, such type of winds are seen in the case of monsoon climate. Next is, give reasons, question number three. So, the first question is, in monsoon climate region, rainfall occurs in a specific season. Okay. Now, in the summer, the continental bodies of Asia experiences high temperature and therefore, in the low, in a low pressure belt is created. Okay. 
समर में एशिया हैज एन हाई टेम्परेचर बिकॉज ऑफ दैट लो प्रेशर बेल्ट इज क्रिएटेड एंड इट इज सेम इन द सेम टाइम देर इज एन हाई प्रेशर बेल्ट विच इज सीन इन इंडियन ओशन अरेबियन सी बे ऑफ बेंगाल ड्यू टू लो टेम्परेचर सो दिस टाइप ऑफ सीजनल विंड्स आर कॉल्ड एज मॉनसून विंड्स ओके सो दीज आर दी मॉनसून विंड्स विच आर अफेक्टेड बाय हाई एंड लो प्रेशर बेल्ट shifting towards ITCZ okay so during the summer the ITCZ moves towards the north at the latitude of 20 degrees to 25 degrees several months later the moisture laden summer monsoon is replaced by northeast monsoon therefore in monsoon climatic region the rainfall always occurs in a specific season only okay next is taiga region taiga is not found in southern hemisphere now uh, taiga is basically between the latitudinal extension of 55 degrees to 65 degrees in north hemisphere as we have already studied it in the textbook okay most part of this region is covered with the coniferous forest which i already discussed in the mcq okay so because of that it is called as taiga in russian language okay this region is close to the north pole so there is tremendous low temperature here and it reduces the moisture holding capacity of the air leading to low rainfall if the location is away from the sea there are again they are again deprived of moisture therefore the region experiences 8 months of winter season these climatic conditions are not observed in the southern hemisphere therefore taiga is not found in the southern hemisphere so basically if you see the latitudinal extension from 55 degrees to 65 it is basically seen in the northern hemisphere it is not found in the southern hemisphere hence taiga region is not seen in southern hemisphere next question is the diurnal range of temperature is more in desert areas now basically in the desert areas it uh, the temperature from the latitudinal extension from 20 degrees to 30 degrees in both the hemisphere which is very close to the equator okay the equator starts from zero and in both the hemisphere if you consider the latitudinal extent from 20 to 30 then you can see that there is a high temperature but in the case of summer a low pressure belt is created because of high temperature so there is always a very dry wind which flows in these areas this dry wind has very less amount of moisture in it and because of that it is very less precipitation is found in this place this region receives more insulation throughout the year resulting in a very high temperature insulation means what the sun rays which uh, this latitudinal extent receives is very much high hence it is always hot in this particular area so as the temperature is high the precipitation in the way of rainfall in the way of snowfall is totally low so because of this the summer temperature of the of this area is between 30 degree celsius to 45 degree celsius all these conditions result into high diurnal range of temperature in the desert areas next question there is no concept of season in the equatorial region first of all the equatorial region lies at the equator so in both the hemisphere if you see the latitudinal extension from 5 degrees to 10 degrees latitude in north as well as in south hemisphere it is totally covered by equatorial region now this region is very very close to the uh, sun as the sun rays are totally perpendicular at these places so because of that the days and nights are totally of same length means if the day is of 12 hours then the night will be of 12 hours so this is how the duration of day and night is found in the case of equatorial region the region receives maximum insulation from the sun for the whole year therefore there is no concept of season in the equatorial region next question fifth question the savanna region is prone to droughts now savanna region is most probably a region which is covered by grassland okay 
द एनिमल हजबेंड्री और द ऑक्यूपेशन रिलेटेड टू एनिमल हजबेंड्री आर बेसिकली कैरिड आउट ओवर यूर नाउ दिस रीजन लाइज इन द ट्रॉपिकल और सब ट्रॉपिकल एरियाज ऑन द अर्थ इट कंप्रोइज ऑफ लेस नंबर्स ऑफ ट्रीज ओके द ट्रीज आर लेस बट द ग्रास द बुशेज द स्क्रब्स आर फाउंड इन लार्ज अमाउंट द समर्स आर यूजली वेरी ड्राई एंड लेस अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल ऑकर्स इन दिस एरिया द विंटर्स आर एक्सट्रीमली वेट कॉजिंग फ्लड्स इन सर्टन पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस रीजन सो इफ यू इफ यू सी द समर एज वेल एज द रेनफॉल इज वेरी लो but the winters are extremely severe so because of this extreme condition these areas receive less or not more than a more amount of rainfall and the temperature also comparatively remains high okay so this area has a very high temperature which is not favorable for longer trees so you can see plenty of grasses and shrubs growing here so because of that the drought takes place in this savanna region now next give reason do mysuri and dehradun are located at the same latitude why is their climate different now if you see an example of mysur it is an location which is on southern slopes of himachal mountain ranges whereas if you see dehradun dehradun is located deeper between shivalik mountain ranges okay though they have the same latitudinal extent the mountain ranges which they are found those are different so mysore is located at higher latitudinal region than that of dehradun so because of that the temperature in dehradun is more than the temperature that of mysore okay so because of that the region near the earth surface heats up quickly and therefore there is a large amount of differences in these two cities even though they share the same latitudinal extent so this is about the give reasons of lesson number 4 the remaining part will be discussed in the next video thank you for watching do subscribe the channel